We're here in Monaco right now and we're shooting the Audi e-tron together with the Lamborghini Urus. If you had a choice, which car would you go for? Welcome back everybody to this next e-vlog here from Monaco on the pier here and I've got the Audi e-tron uh, which I'm going to be featuring in this video I'm going to be talking to you about it and then I also mentioned the Urus which is really cool and we're just here now shooting some Instagram pictures with the two of them which is an awesome spot so I just want to tell you who's done the b-roll so it's Julian aka Mr. Hollywood you'll see why in two seconds uh, and Casper who's back in the house as well so the two of them shot the b-roll it will look I think like a 10 million dollar uh, Audi advertisement but actually no it was a very very cheap production which the two of them made yeah this is not how it should stop, be stop, stop, stop. okay this is clearly not working properly so Julian where's the manual uh, and they've done an awesome job they've used the red camera and you will see uh, it's just so damn cool. Here we go. Enjoy. So please comment below if you agree with me if that was proper Hollywood stuff. And we have very, very important learnings as well, I think. Casper um, and Julian, what was the, the most fundamental learnings from the, from the B-roll session? Julian and Casper had, had the honor of visiting the Monaco jail and we will show you some footage of that. And the most important learning was bring your permission when filming in Monaco. The police will not uh, believe you otherwise. Yeah. Here we go. Bang, bang, boom. <laughs> anyway, enough of that crap. Now I'm going to take you through the car. And as you know, I'm super interested in the whole performance aspect. On this car, you can't really talk about performance in terms of power. But where you can talk about performance, and which is an area where I really ha know a lot about, it's aerodynamics. And as we know, aerodynamics and and, uh, and drag coefficients, so the way you cut through the air, is super important for electric cars because it's, it's a range extender and a free range extender. If you have really good aerodynamics, they will just help you get 10 kilometers more, 20 kilometers more, 50 kilometers more of range. And that's a, a game changer. So, and this car, they've really put a lot of effort into it. I'm gonna take you through a couple of the details. First of all, we've got these mirrors, which are totally pioneering by Audi. I mean, it's not pioneering, we've seen a lot of concept cars like this, but they're really bringing it out now into a mass-produced car. And it's a big step, it's really a big step. Um, I can throw into the video as well, also just quickly, the, the screens from the inside that they have, which are, you need to get used to them because they're in a bit different position. They're much lower. You tend to naturally want to look at the, at the mirror, but now they're like in the door below. It takes some getting used to, but other than that, I think it works fine. We definitely have to be authentic on YouTube. So now I'm going to show you, I was really putting big effort into doing a nice Instagram picture and the guy said, hey, come on, do a different pose, not always your sunglasses, you know, your, your usual uh, pose. So I said, okay, come on, let's do a, let's do a Buddha pose jumping in the air. So, so if you want to check out my pants completely disintegrated uh, during the jump, actually we'll do the slow-mo. Oh. <laughs> It's an awesome picture, but unfortunately, of course, quite, co quite a lot of comedy. Um, but check out the end result, we photoshopped it, so the picture is absolutely brilliant. So I'm going to take you through a couple of other things. First of all, you've got the tires as well, Continental, and the whole, the whole outer surface here, and even the, even the thread, on the, uh, even the um, contact patch, it's all developed for aerodynamic efficiency. You can even see the pattern here. Everything is for aerodynamic efficiency, so they've done a really like complete job about this. At this point, however, I have to criticize these rims because these are definitely aerodynamically not state-of-the-art. And Audi has made these, however, which are like much more awesome and again, very, very important for extending the range. Um, you've got the front end also. You can see a really, really harsh uh, cut-off line at the bottom, which is important to split the air. And then underneath, they've gone for the full flat floor, which we know from Tesla as well huge aerodynamic gains because you don't need to worry about the exhaust temperature so you can just cover off the bottom 
And what I've done here as well is they've gone for the golf ball surface. So it's completely golf ball surface all the way under and it's just the most efficient way to, uh, to get the air across at high speeds. So that's what they've done. Um, and I think, no, it's an awesome job. Anyway, I'm a fan. I really like this e-mobility and for me this is a game changer because the first big German company was bringing out like a full-on um, luxury car fully electric. And so what do you think? Let's go take it for a drive. Bang, bang, boom. Into some of the details then about the car here today. First of all, to drive, it's really lovely. Um, I really like the interior as well. A little bit of the futuristic touch, really nice displays, really sleek, really elegant. So very happy with that, it's really cool. So here Audi claims 417 kilometers with normal driving, um, which really is a decent range. I think that's that's something where we can uh, we can all get comfortable with and, and not have to worry, how oh, am I gonna get from A to B and things like that. So that's quite good. Where we're getting, at, getting up to now with range. And really this car, it's all about really I mean reaching uh, mainstream uh, family friendly everyday friendly car it's not about performance or or anything like that uh, 80,000 euros for a luxury car like that I think that's not uh, shocking it's quite a quite an okay price I would say for for what for what it offers so now we're going into the Formula One tunnel here so what a perfect place to test the acceleration Zero to, I'm not going to go for 100, 0 to 60. Uh, so the acceleration is 5.7. Okay, so there definitely you can see that that's not something that they focus on with this car because it's 5.7. It's really, a, I mean, it's really a normal acceleration, nothing special at all, which is fine. The car is not made, uh, not made for that, so that's okay. And then uh, top speed 200. So limited to 200, which is also, that's totally okay, I mean, you never need to do more than that, except on the German Auto Autobahn, where you can do unlimited, of course, but even there, I think 200 is fine. And for all of you who have not ever driven an electric car yet, I can tell you that you just really don't even notice the difference, yeah? There's no difference at all in the way you drive, in what you're doing, everything's the same, yeah? Brake, throttle, totally the same, which is also a goal of Audi to make sure that it's not something that you need to get used to yeah so it's really for everybody so easy to make the transition and they've done that perfectly the only thing of course is that you got to get used to is when you switch on the car you don't hear this engine going on and you're like asking yourself well is the car on now or not and I'm still finding myself doing that now I'm not even sure if there's I haven't really found the indication yet or whatever so that's the only thing you got to get used to but then it's a really nice thing it's so peaceful so quiet when you're driving I really like that of course with a hypercar uh, the engine noise can add some goosebumps, but in a normal everyday car having the peace and quiet is lovely It's really awesome, and it's a, it's really a benefit for me. That's it for this e-vlog Thank you very much for tuning in again, and let me know your comments What do you think of the car and also let me know? I mean it's the first time that I'm doing such a video where I'm just more like kind of Describing a new car and, and, and driving it around for you So let me know if if it was okay, or if you want some more details. I like to talk about performance. That's really one of the topics that I really like, so that's why I really wanted to just show the, the whole aerodynamic aspect of this electric cars, because that's an important factor which I really appreciate as well. Um, yeah, so just uh, give me a comment. Please subscribe to the, to the channel here for much more action like this. Which car would you like to see next? I'm sure I know the answer, probably the Remac Concept 2, coming very, very soon. Stay tuned for that. Bye-bye, thanks a lot.